We know that bungalow Joe Biden, the US president, is absolutely mental. But what I didn't comprehend was how mental his administration is as well. Welcome to the ceremonial swearing in of our new four-star admiral of the United States Public Health Service Commission Corps, Dr. Rachel Levine. I'm Andrea Palm. I'm the Deputy Secretary here at the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The path towards equality is a long one, but today we are taking a historic step forward with the appointment of Admiral Levine as the first openly transgender four-star officer across the uniform services. I am proud to serve at HHS as history is being made and to support a more diverse future. I will administer the Public Health Service Corps oath and Vice Admiral Vivek Murthy, U.S. Surgeon General, will serve as a witness. Vice Admiral Murthy, would you like to say a few words about the U.S. Public Health Service Commission Corps? We are extremely proud to have Dr. Levine join the 6,000 officers of the U.S. Public Health Service Commission Corps who serve on the front lines of our nation's fight against disease and poor health conditions. They are dedicated to providing health care to underserved and vulnerable populations across our country. Dr. Levine, are you ready? I am. Place your hand on the Constitution and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I, Rachel L. Levine. Having been appointed an officer in the Commission Corps of the U.S. Public Health Service. Having been appointed an officer in the Commissioned Corps of the U.S. Public Health Service. In the grade of Admiral. In the grade of Admiral. Do solemnly reaffirm do solemnly reaffirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. That I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. Without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. That I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Welcome Admiral Levine. Would you like to say a few words? Yes, please. <clears throat> Thank you very much for entrusting me with this role. Now what you saw in that clip was a transgender person, Rachel Levine, just being given the rank of a four-star admiral in the United States Navy, and the Joe Biden administration making a huge celebration and hoo-ha about it, simply because this person is transgender. Now imagine being a female service person in the United States Navy, or the Army, or any of the other eight services that the United States has to defend itself with, and you've worked your ass off to climb up the ranks and do everything by the book to better yourself, get yourself some more responsibility, and make you a better person to help defend your nation. And then this man, who has now appropriated your gender as a woman, completely outranks you, just like that, because of reasons. This, folks, is how you weaken a nation. And again, I've said it over and over and over, you watch a guy called Yuri Bezmanov, watch his videos on YouTube, because I believe that what he says has come true and is coming true by putting people like this, Rachel Levine, in a military rank. And this is really odd, folks. You see, Rachel Levine is quite literally the United States version of her own health secretary here in the UK. So it's quite a responsible position. But a position that Rachel Levine abused while she was the assistant secretary of health, because when she was in that role, she ordered that plague-positive patients be put into nursing homes, which led to the plague spreading like wildflower and killing thousands of elderly people in those care homes. But before she made that order, she pulled her own mother out of a care home. Now, that should tell you everything about this person, folks. And again, it puzzles me, why put Rachel Levine into a military role of such a high rank and then televise it like this, like you saw in that clip? But what I can tell you is that putting this person in that rank and in that uniform with absolutely no training, no experience, is a massive kick in the bollocks, excuse the pun, to every serviceman in the United States. God knows what they're going to think of this and what they're going to make of it. 
And if giving Rachel Levine four stars as an admiral wasn't enough for Joe Biden's insane administration, they've also given her four ribbons. Now, your guess is as good as mine where Rachel Levine earned them. But it wouldn't surprise me, knowing how extremely woke and left-wing the politicians are here in the UK, that they'll invite Rachel Levine over and make her a field marshal. I mean, the whole story's preposterous enough. Why not? That could happen. Nothing the woke does now surprises me. And it shouldn't surprise you neither. But like I said, the reason for this is anyone's guess. I'll leave it for you to tell me in the comments, which I do read, but the outcome can't be good. And the weird thing about this television presentation was all three people you saw in that clip had a mask on. When the presenter and the other admiral were talking, they both kept their masks on. Yet when now Admiral Rachel Levine started talking, she took her mask off and they were all in the same room. Now either there's a deadly plague going around or there isn't. And surely by their own mandate, everyone should keep a mask on. But that didn't happen. Why not? Now there's a million questions regarding what's happened here. I can't address them all, but I'm sure they'll come out soon enough. Now, remember I said in the beginning of my video that the Joe Biden administration, as well as bungling Joe Biden himself, are completely mental, and that giving this person a four-star admiral rank was a slap in the face to the servicemen who train and work hard to make a career for themselves to get to that rank. But it's also a huge kick in the teeth to biological women when they announce this decision as the first female person to reach this rank. That's just simply rubbing their noses in it. And the female gender is yet another demographic that the left have thrown under the bus in order to weaken the West. That's what's going on here. That's what I think. And it's getting harder and harder to disbelieve Yuri Bezmenov about what he said. Absolutely mental, folks. What do you think? Please let me know what you think in the comments. And if you'd like to support my channel, then you can buy me a beer because YouTube and Google have demonetized my channel as I like to think for myself, and they don't like that. So by buying me a beer, nothing, not a penny of what you donate goes to them. It goes straight to me. Right, that's it. That's my video. Please comment, share, subscribe, and until my next one, Roger Trout.